Have you ever wondered where music, this universal language of emotion, originated from? It's a question that has puzzled scholars for centuries. Music in its many forms has the power to evoke deep-seated emotions, bring people together, and even shape societies. But when and where did it all begin? The mystery of music's origin is not an easy one to unravel. Some theories suggest that music may have roots in early human societies. Imagine our ancestors, gathered around a fire under the starlit sky, using their voices and primitive instruments to create sounds. These sounds could have served as a form of communication, a way to express emotions, or even a method to strengthen group cohesion. As societies evolved, so did the complexity of these sounds, leading to what we now identify as music. The rhythmic beating of drums, the haunting melody of a flute, the harmonious strumming of a primitive stringed instrument. These could have been the early echoes of music. Music may also have had evolutionary benefits. In the harsh and unpredictable environment of the prehistoric world, the ability to work together and communicate effectively was crucial for survival. Music with its capacity to synchronize emotions and actions could have played a vital role in fostering cooperation and unity. Furthermore, music's potential therapeutic effects cannot be overlooked. The soothing sounds of a lullaby can calm a crying baby, while an uplifting tune can boost morale and foster a sense of belonging. These effects could have been just as powerful for our ancestors helping them navigate the challenges of their world. So, while we may never know the exact moment when the first note was struck, or the first melody was sung, we can appreciate the deep roots of this universal language. Music has thrived in every culture, every era, and every corner of the world, shaping and being shaped by human societies. While the exact origins remain elusive, it is clear that music has been an integral part of human societies for thousands of years. Music, as we know it, didn't just pop into existence one day, it evolved over time. This evolution started with the simplest of tools and the most basic of human needs, communication and expression. The dawn of music saw the birth of early musical instruments. Picture, if you will, a bone flute. This seemingly simple instrument, often made from the bones of birds or even mammoths, was one of the earliest known musical tools. The hollowed out bones, punctured with holes, were capable of producing a variety of tones when blown into. These bone flutes were not just tools for entertainment. They were in many ways the early ancestors of the modern flute and other wind instruments. But music was not limited to the melodic tunes of bone flutes. Percussive instruments played an equally important role. These ranged from simple tools like sticks and stones used to create rhythmic beats, to more complex instruments like drums made from animal skins. These percussive tools were often used in unison with flutes, creating a symphony of sounds that echoed through the ages. Now let's delve a little deeper into the societal role of music. In the earliest human societies, music served more than just an entertainment purpose. It was a crucial tool for communication. Imagine a hunter returning to his tribe, using rhythmic beats on a drum to signal his return or to share the story of his hunt. Music also played a vital role in rituals and ceremonies with specific tunes or rhythms associated with different events or deities the power of music to evoke emotion, convey messages, and unite communities was recognized early on. This understanding, paired with the development of musical instruments, laid the groundwork for the evolution of music. These primitive instruments and their uses formed the foundation for the development of music. From bone flutes to percussive tools, from ritualistic chants to rhythmic storytelling, Music has always been a fundamental part of human societies. Its evolution from these early notes is a testament to our innate desire to express, communicate, and connect through the universal language of music. As civilizations developed, so did their music. This is a truth we see echoed across the annals of history, from the sun-baked banks of the Nile to the misty mountains of ancient China. In the land of the pharaohs, music held a sacred and integral place in society. The Egyptians developed harps and flutes, and their music was often used to accompany religious ceremonies and dances. Songs were composed to honor the gods and to celebrate the victories of the reigning pharaoh. Even their hieroglyphics, the ancient Egyptian writing system, 
included symbols that represented different musical instruments and songs, showing just how deeply music was woven into the fabric of their culture. Moving on to ancient Greece, music was esteemed as a gift from the gods, believed to have the power to heal the body and soothe the soul. The Greeks developed complex stringed instruments like the lyre and the kathara, and they were among the first to create a system of musical notation. This was a revolutionary development that allowed music to be written down and preserved for future generations. Over in ancient China, music was seen as a reflection of the universe's harmony. The Chinese believed that music played a crucial role in promoting moral conduct and maintaining societal order. They developed a range of instruments, from percussion like bells and drums, to stringed instruments such as the guqin. The Chinese also had a system of musical notation, showcasing their understanding of the intricate patterns and rhythms that make up music. Throughout these ancient civilizations, music was not just a form of entertainment, it was a medium to connect with the divine, to express societal values and to reflect the harmony of the universe. Whether it was a song to honor a pharaoh, a melody composed on a lyre, or a rhythm played on an ancient drum, each note carried a profound significance. Music was not just a form of entertainment, but also a way to connect with the divine and express societal values. The evolution of music didn't stop with the ancients. It continued to evolve and diversify. As we journey into the Middle Ages, music began to take on new forms and structures. It was during this time that the concept of harmony was introduced and the use of multiple voices became prevalent. This period gave birth to the Gregorian chant, a form of monophonic, unaccompanied sacred song of the Western Roman Catholic Church. As we moved into the Renaissance, music became increasingly expressive and melodious, the polyphonic style where multiple voices each sing their own melody was perfected. This period was graced by the genius of composers like Josquin de Pres and Giovanni Palestrina, who crafted complex yet beautiful choral works. Transitioning into the Baroque period, we witnessed the birth of opera, with its dramatic emotional music. Composers like Vivaldi, Bach, and Handel brought new depth and complexity to music, instrumental music became as important as vocal music for the first time in history. Our journey then brings us to the classical period, a time of elegance and balance. Composers like Mozart and Haydn crafted symphonies and sonatas that still resonate today. They introduced the concept of thematic development where a musical theme is introduced and then transformed throughout a piece. As we step into the Romantic period, music became even more expressive and emotional. Composers like Beethoven, Chopin, and Wagner pushed the boundaries of music, exploring new themes and expanding the orchestra. This period saw the rise of program music, compositions that tell a story or evoke a specific image or scene. And so music continued its journey, constantly evolving and changing. Each era added its own unique flavor, from the harmonic chants of the Middle Ages to the expressive symphonies of the Romantic period. Each era brought new innovations and styles, enriching the world of music. Music has come a long way from its primitive roots, becoming an art form that transcends boundaries. As we stepped into the 20th century, the world of music expanded drastically, birthing modern genres that we cherish today. The lively and improvisational spirit of jazz emerged in the early 20th century, primarily in New Orleans. It was a fusion of African rhythms and European harmonies, a testament to the cultural melting pot of America. Then came the explosion of rock and roll in the 50s and 60s, a genre that shook the world with its electrifying tunes and rebellious spirit. It was more than just music, it was a cultural revolution, a voice for the youth. Following closely was the rise of pop music, a genre that prioritized melody and commercial appeal. It was the soundtrack of the masses, catchy and relatable taking the world by storm with its infectious rhythms. And then we witnessed the birth of hip-hop in the 70s. It started in the streets of the Bronx, where African-American and Latino youth expressed their experiences through rhythm and poetry. Today, it's a global phenomenon, a language that speaks to millions. As we journeyed through these genres, there was another revolution taking place, the 
technological revolution. The invention of the phonograph, the radio, the vinyl record, the cassette, the CD, and now digital streaming, each played a significant role in how music was produced, distributed, and consumed. Technology democratized music making it accessible to everyone, everywhere. Today, we can carry the world's music in our pockets. A far cry from the times when music was confined to live performances. It's a testament to our constant quest for innovation and our love for this beautiful art form. From bone flutes to digital beats, the journey of music is a testament to human creativity and emotion. Who knows where it will take us next?